Hey Glam Fam, welcome back to my channel. It is Jasmine Roma here and today I created this entire look with this bold red lip, rosy cheeks. I'm looking very femme fatale and this winged liner and dramatic lashes. I used completely and entirely $1 products. So all the makeup products in this video were $1 each and they were from a site called Shop Miss A. So yeah, this is the look I created. If you wanna see how I got this look using all $1 products, then just keep on watching. I stumbled across a site called Shop Miss A. I've seen quite a few of my favorite beauty bloggers and influencers do videos on these, and I thought, why not give it a go and try out some $1 makeup for myself and see if I can find some goodies and try and create a whole look. So now I went onto this website and it's actually really nice now because I remember I did actually go onto the website, I mean, I think about a year or two ago and it wasn't that great. It looked pretty dodgy. Like, it looked like it might be a bit of a scam, but now I've gone back onto the website and they've redone the entire thing. It looks really professional. Photos are there, really nice. They have like swatches, it's really, really professional. I found it way easier to shop on there and choose my shades and stuff like that. I managed to purchase a full face of makeup. I actually placed an order on the 28th of April and it took about a week or two to ship out. Ship from Dallas, Texas, which is really quite far from where I am. I'm in Canberra, Australia. Um, so it took about, I'd say, 10 days maximum. So that was really good. I was surprised at how quickly I got it. And I was also surprised at how well packaged everything was. My friend and I were hanging out when this arrived and we just had to open it all up and take all the padding and stuff off. But it was packaged really nicely and um, it all had bubble wrap around it and they were put set place separately as well. And so I really, really appreciate the way they packaged it. Nothing was broken when I received it. So I'm really happy about that. My total order was $18. So shipping was $9.95, which is really great and reasonable. So the total came to $27.95. Managed to get a full face of makeup. So that's really exciting. Spent my own money on this, of course. I'm still a growing channel. So everything you see on these haul videos, I do purchase out of my own hard earned money and cash. I am working at the moment. Share it if you could subscribe to my channel grow my channel so that maybe one day I can get on a brand's PR list fucking PR list fucking PR list fucking PR list okay so this is the package it came in um, it has like cute little like, stickers and like emoji things on it so it's really cool it was all padded and packaged really nicely I really really appreciate that the first thing I got is the let's just have a look at my so I got the AOA Wonder Blender. This is like looks like a dupe for the Beauty Blender. It is quite hard, I must admit, but we'll see how it goes once I dampen it. So I'm going to use this for the foundation. It is very, very firm, but it looks like it might be a good dupe for a Beauty Blender. I don't know. So this was $1, of course. Everything was $1. And the next thing I bought was the Wonder Liquid Liner. This is by AOA. So AOA seems to be like the brand that most of the makeup is. This is the Wonder Black liquid liner and it is just like kind of a one situation that was one dollar surprise this is concealer it looks like lipstick like literally looks like the perfect nude shade but it's concealer but it looks like lipstick it's in a lipstick one too like does this not remind you of the ColourPop component mm. so this is the AOA studio perfect eye primer in the shade nude so that's it there I'll swatch it I guess The next item I got is the Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer. And it actually has sparkles in it. I'll take the wrapping out um, off so you can have a closer look. I thought this looked pretty, it has sparkles in it. Anyway, so starting off this look, I'm going to go ahead with a primer and I'm gonna go ahead with the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Primer. This was $1, of course. This is meant to be a perfecting blur primer. Um, it is a blurring cream, but it has sparkles in it, so I don't know how that's going to go. So it has glitter, legit gold glitter in it. And it actually smells really, really quite nice. Like, I really like the smell of it. We'll see how that goes. It doesn't feel like a blurring primer, to be honest, because it hasn't got that kind of silicone-y feel. It feels more like water. It feels like I'm just putting, like, water on my face. But it is like refreshing, I'll give it that. I'm going in with like another pump because this is very quite liquidy. It does kind of just feel like a hydrating primer, which I'm not too mad about, but it says it's meant to be a blurring primer and I do not feel like it's blurred my skin whatsoever. It's a bit glittery and it is tacky, so it's dried down and it's tacky, so 
that is good that is always something i look for next thing i'm going to go in with is i'm probably going to go in with the eyeshadow primer and that is the aoa perfect studio perfect perfect eye primer and this is in the shade nude so i'm going to just go ahead and prime my eyelids so this like applicator is really bad it doesn't really ooh, hold much product at all it's literally like a lip gloss one but not a good lip gloss one it's very stiff and feels like i'm poking my eyes out and like it's very open like it's very sheer coverage as you can see it doesn't really cover that much I just pat it out with my finger. It does seem to be moving around quite a lot, not really staying in one place. It's got like a real waxy kind of feeling to it. Um, and it just kind of makes my eyelids feel a bit oily. So I mean, it has given like a little bit of coverage, but I would rather an eyeshadow primer stay put rather than move around so much and not be so waxy. It is a very waxy texture. see as you can see it doesn't completely cover up all my veins and like darkness and whatnot on the area actually I'm gonna go in with like a little bit more of that and I'm actually going with the wonder blender which was a dollar and I'm not gonna go to the sink I'm gonna just dampen it using this cup so it was completely dry before and I'm just soaking it so it does gain quite a big in size when you soak it with water and, like squeeze it out a little bit wow it gets a lot softer once you dampen it when it is oh can you see that so with the beauty blender that eyeshadow primer does not react well with water it completely just washed it off so that stuff does not stay put at all by any means so i won't be <laughs> using that for the eyeshadow primer you live and you learn so i'm going to go back in I think I'd probably be better off just using concealer because like that is a mess. <gasps> so patchy and just ugly and horrible. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with a concealer and try and do that. This is the Wonder Cover HD Concealer it's in the shade Porcelain. I'm gonna try that and see if that can fix this eye situation we have going on because that is horrible. We're so far off to a bad start. I'm gonna now try it with a brush and I'm gonna blend out that concealer. It's not working well with the brush either. And it is moving around. It just won't stay in place. It's horrible. Ugh, yuck. The consistency of that concealer is like play makeup like it's like wax oh okay, so that didn't work out at all the eyeshadow primer was absolutely horrible i know it was a dollar but save your dollar it's not worth it it didn't do anything it really just made a huge mess so i'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation um i'm gonna be taking the matte finish foundation this is in the shade this is in the color five, so it's not even got a shade name. It's just, this is called color five, the squeezy tube. I'm just going to give it a smell. It smells like moisturizer. It doesn't smell too bad. It smells like sorbeline cream. So I just did three pumps on the back of my hand and I'm going to go ahead and try it with the blender. It actually seems like a really, really good match. And it was hard to match it just from looking at the pictures because so it was a little bit difficult to shade match me. But I actually really like that shade and it's perfect for me. Coverage is pretty all right. It's not full coverage by any means but it is giving me some coverage. I had taken off that eyeshadow primer because it really did not work out for me. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just like use some of the foundation to prime my eyelids. So to me, this is more like a tinted moisturizer. It's not really building up that much coverage. I had about three pumps on my face and 
it's not covering that much. See that extra pump just covered up a bit more, but yeah, it is not giving me great coverage. I'm going to just prime my eyelids with that foundation. I actually look really glowy, but that primer had like glitter reflex in it. Even though it was a blurring primer, but it, I say it's more like an illuminating primer. So it is actually drying down that. Um, but I still want a bit more coverage. It is still feeling very, like it's looking very natural. There is a lot of makeup on my face, but you can't see the coverage, which I don't like. I take my Y6 and try it out. So I think I may have to film the second part of this video another day because I'm really running out of time. Um, my day just got so busy, lost track of time. I need to go shoot off soon. And I think I'll have to finish the rest of this video either tonight or tomorrow. Okay, that brush is like finessing the product on so much nicer than the blender. I think it's the blender that's a fail. That's not great. It, it was really hard when it, before it was wet. So yeah, that's not good. So I would recommend using a brush for this foundation because actually when you use it with a brush, it is so much nicer. Like I'm already getting way more coverage. I really, really love that. And the blender is a big no-no. Color match is actually quite good. And I'm gonna just drag it down my neck so I have a foundation line. So what I'm using is the AOA Wonder Cover and look at this. I also got a separate concealer. I got one that was a bit, that was a peach corrector, but it literally looks like a lipstick, like a nude lipstick. If you look at that, that's like a nice nude shade, but I want to use it, the peach to correct the under eyes. Before in a movie line, we can ride our own and in the stars. Foundation is starting to feel really greasy on my skin. Ooh. But hey, that coverage is not too bad for a dollar. Oh, that is quite nice. But I do get the kind of feeling like I've got face paint on. I feel like I have face paint on because it is really heavy and cakey. I'm gonna go ahead and try the blender with it. I like to put my concealer out with blender. Kind of hard to blend. Like it's, maybe it's the blend though. Cause you can still see like the stripes from where I applied it. Now what I did not manage to grab was a translucent setting powder. I actually couldn't find one. Um, pretty sure, I don't think there were any. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I browsed through the website and I could not find, for the life of me, a translucent setting powder. So I just didn't get one. I'm just gonna set it with like a matte powder that I bought, but this concealer is really great coverage, but it's very, very white. I think this concealer I got was way too light, which is porcelain, and I do like to get a really light concealer just to highlight with as well, but I feel like this is a bit too light, and it is, I mean, a little goes a long way, like, wow, this is like stage makeup, like it's covering quite a lot, but it is a little hard to blend out. Go ahead and try blend it with my Y6. Okay, that's not really working. What's the story about you? What's the story behind? So that concealer I quite like already. Um, it did provide a lot of cover coverage. Um, it took a little bit to blend it out, but the coverage I'm really, really happy with. I'm now gonna go in with a matte powder. This is the Malibu Glitz. It says it's a blusher. I'm not sure on whom this would be a blusher for because look at that. That who are you for? It does smell like kids makeup. I will have to say that loud and clear. It smells like kids makeup. So that powder I am quite liking. It's giving like a nice amount of coverage and it is setting that foundation and making it all matte because that foundation, the liquid foundation I put on wasn't like really matte, it was more like glowy actually. So that is the base completed and I'm going to come back later on and finish the look using the $1 makeup. Be right back. This is the second part of the first half of the video that I started about over a week ago. 
First of all, I just wanna come on and say I'm extremely sorry from the bottom of my heart for being so slack lately with posting my videos. I know I promised you guys one video every week and that is a goal that I set for myself at the start of the year to the end of the year to post one new video every single week. And I thought that I was able to accomplish that throughout the year and I love to have it as a goal and it gave me like an incentive to push and find new and interesting content to create for you guys. But throughout this year, I have really been struggling. I have been trying so hard to do it all. I've always wanted to be that person that, you know, can do it all. But lately I have not been able to manage. Um, I don't know if you guys may know this, but I am a single mother to my 14 month old. And that was my decision. I have always been a single mother ever since he was born. Um, but it has been really, really stressful and I've been working since he was six months old and I currently just quit my old job that I had been in for five whole years, which was a huge step for me because I actually got a job that I've been looking forward to for so long. And when I heard back that I was successful, I was ecstatic. It's not a makeup job, but it's a really great job. It's something that I'm really interested in and it also is like a traineeship. So where I get to study and work and kind of train on the job and it'll it's just gonna push me towards that extra step to obtaining a career that I really like and am passionate about. So um, I got that job about a month ago and so I actually started working about two weeks ago. Been working like crazy and been pushing myself and I literally have not had any time to even sit down and do my own makeup let alone for a video and I'm so sorry guys because I want to be able to give you one video every week and I'm really disappointed that I haven't been able to. Please bear with me. Sometimes life just gets ahead of us and there's not enough hours in the day. I wanted to continue this video and finish it off for you guys. Sorry about that life story slash rant. Now let's just continue on with this video of using $1 makeup. I went ahead and I redid my foundation, concealer, primer, all that stuff I did in the first half of the video. I've just gone ahead and set it with that Malibu Glitz powder. And now we're just gonna keep the video moving on. I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna just do my eyebrows. This is the Sculpting Brow Pencil. And this is like a double-ended thingo with like a spoolie and then on the other side it has like a little pencil which is much like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. Go ahead and just do my eyebrows for you and brush them up. First I'm going to start off by brushing those hairs up and getting them into place. I also purchased a brow fiber gel and this is called Go Brow and I'm going to use this as well just to give it that extra oomph. I'm gonna just continue to brush my eyebrow hairs up in an upwards motion. I like to hold the arch and pull it, pull it up to give me that extra arch. worked pretty well like I'm actually quite impressed with how creamy it was it's not too pigmented which is good I don't like it to be too pigmented with a brow product because then it's like too hard to blend out and if you make a mistake it's much harder to fix so I really am impressed with this brow pencil I'm gonna go ahead with the go brow fiber gel it's got like a little kind of wand mascara situation so I'm gonna go ahead and just brush that through my brows hmm. I'm gonna go for the more natural brows today, just cause that's what I've been going for lately and I really, really like it, especially cause it's winter here. I don't know, I think that whole like overgrown eyebrow look is really in at the moment. So I'm going to channel my inner Cara Delevingne. Give myself some nice wild and untamed brows. Holy moly, I love this. Look at that. Like the texture, it's just added instantly has improved the look of my brows. It's got that feathered effect. And it is definitely adding a lot of much needed volume to my brows. It's probably the quickest I've ever done my brows. That combo as well works so perfectly together. So awesome. I love the way my brows look. So I got two eyeshadow palettes. I found that they didn't have a lot of palettes that were a mixture of matte and metallic. So I got two. So I got this 
Quad by LA Colors. This is the matte eyeshadow kit in Matterific. This one is the Amuse Cosmetics Luster Metals. So I'm gonna be using these two to like create a little look. So these are the mattes. I'm gonna go ahead with this little cream shade. Feels quite soft. And I'm gonna take this Morphe R40. There is quite a bit of kick up. So, so far so good. These mattes are performing very well and it's creating like a nice base. I don't think I want to go in with any of these as a transition. Go into the bronzing powder, which is actually a bit shimmery, but I think this would be a nice transition shade. I'm going to just take this bronzing powder where there is a lot of kick up. don't know how pigmented it is, so ooh, I'm going to just shake some of that off. The world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we waited for. I might actually go in with like this shade here. go into this Lustra metal um, palette. This is my Sigma E55 eye shading brush. I'm going to spray this brush with some MAC Fix Plus just to give it the eyeshadow fighting chance. Go into this nice copper kind of bronze shade here. Whoa, that's not too shabby. I mean, the glitter in it is quite chunky as you can see, but I mean, it's a pretty Pretty shade. Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche. I'm gonna go take this champagne shade into the inner corner just for like a nice little inner corner highlight. I'm gonna spray my fix squish. Now I'm actually going to take the black shade from the matte palette just to add like that darkness, like deepen it off. I'm taking my Morphe M506 brush shade, which actually isn't a black now that I'm looking at it. It is a gray and it is got a ton of fallout. So I'm really worried about my under eyes and I think that it is gonna pick it up. So I'm gonna try and lean back and see if I can avoid that. I'm just adding that to the outer corner. shadows work better like if I just use my finger so I'm gonna press into the bronze shade and like press it I'll take that cream shade also and just like highlight the upper brow bone okay, I'm taking the gray shade there on this this is a Morphe R43 brush and I'm gonna just like add some underneath so that is the eye look. I'm going to go ahead with a wing liner. I'm going to be using the AOA liquid liner. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Now this is something I really struggle with. I always struggle with doing a wing liner. Like I swear it always ends up looking like a penguin beak. And I just end up getting it too thick. Get some concealer. And I'm going to actually try to carve up the end of it. And like fix it up a bit. That's the eyeliner. It's really watery, so we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna apply some mascara, and the mascara I got is the Volume Flash Mascara in black. It's really tiny. Mascara, this mascara is actually quite good. Like, look at the length and volume it's given my lashes. So, I'm quite happy with that mascara. It's really nice. I like the wand, it's really thick. I do really like it. 
I'm gonna apply these lashes. These are these nice lashes in the style Aria. I'm gonna go ahead and apply them off camera. My lashes are waiting for my lash glue to get nice and tacky. And in the meantime, I'm gonna actually bronze up my face using this LOL bronzing powder. I'm gonna use my Morphe Y3 brush and I'm just tapping into that bronzer. Oh my God, she's orange. Oh, oh wow, that's orange. So that eyelash glue should be dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on. Ooh, she's dramatic. I'm actually really loving these lashes. They're gorgeous. These lashes are on and I'm actually living for them. Like I really, really like them and they go with my eye shapes. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and blush. And this is the LOL Blush Duo. I'm probably gonna go ahead with the peachy one. I'm just grab my Morphe M492 blushing brush and this is like a shimmery blush. Ooh, she's pigmented. I'm gonna just rosy up my cheeks. Oh my gosh, that is a really, really pigmented blush. But like that shade is beautiful. I'm living for that shade. Love it. Living for it. Now, we are nearly done. I'm going to go in with the AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter. Now, it's been quite a while since I've used a baked highlighter. I'm in with my Real Techniques highlighting brush. I'm going to dig in. Wow, it's powdery. And I'm going to just like go and... Ooh. Okay. Like, that's actually really, really nice. It's not like blinding, but it's a nice subtle highlight and this shade is beautiful. It's like a nice goldy shade. This is in the shade Snow. So, snap, that is the completed look. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, so the last step of the look is this red lip. I'm going to be rocking a red lip for once, a nice vibrant red. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that to my lippies. Actually go ahead and use just that tiny bit extra and add a bit of that baked highlighter this little morphe brush let's take the hair down for the reveal it is like really dramatic and that red lip is gorgeous and i love that blush okay like wow i'm actually living for it actually most of the products did work out they all pretty much were pretty good except for the eyeshadows the eyeshadows i was not a fan of uh heaps of fallout color payoff Zero to none, blendability, not great. So, oh my god, my earring. Not great. So, but everything else, like the face products were good. I mean, the eyeshadow primer, sorry, was horrible. Uh, and I ended up not using it. I think I was better off not using it, but I've broken my earring. Foundation's really nice too. The powder, everything. I love this blush. I don't have to go in with much of that blush, but like, look how pretty that color is. These lashes, absolutely stunning and for a dollar you cannot go wrong if you want to just wear them for like a night out save your lily lashes just wear one of these and then at the end of the night you just pull it off scrunch it up in a little bowl and chuck it in the bin so i'm loving this look and i love how it turned out yeah thank you so much for watching sorry for the delay with the second part of this video um, but it is finally finished and I really hope you enjoyed watching. So yeah, head over to Shop Me Say. Everything is $1 and I found some really good buys and this red lip is gorgeous. It's already dried down completely matte. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Click that bell, make it ring and so you get sent notifications for every time I post a video. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching Glam Fam. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,